One day a scorpion looked around at the hill where he lived and decided that he wanted a change. So he set out on a journey and kept going until he reached the river and saw a beautiful castle on the other side of the stream. The river was wide and swift and the scorpion stopped to reconsider the situation. He couldn't see any way across. Suddenly, he saw a frog sitting by the bank of the stream. He decided to ask the frog for help getting across the stream. Hello, dear frog. Would you be so kind as to give me a ride on your back across the river? Well now, Mr. Scorpion, how do I know that if I try to help you, you won't try to kill me? asked the frog hesitantly. Because, the scorpion replied, if I try to kill you, then I would die too, for you see I cannot swim. Now this seemed to make sense to the frog, but she asked, What about when I get close to the bank? You could still try to kill me and get back to the shore. This is true, agreed the scorpion, but then I wouldn't be able to get to the other side of the river. All right then, how do I know you won't just wait till we get to the other side and then kill me? said the frog. Ah, said the scorpion, because you see, once you've taken me to the other side of this river, I will be so grateful for your help that it would be hardly fair to reward you with death, now would it? So the frog agreed to take the scorpion across the river. The scorpion crawled onto the frog's back and the frog slid into the river. Halfway across the river, the frog suddenly felt a sharp sting in her back and out of the corner of her eye saw the scorpion remove his stinger from the frog's back. A deadening numbness began to creep into her limbs. You fool, croaked the frog. Now we shall both die. Why on earth did you do that? The scorpion shrugged. I couldn't help myself, dear, it's my nature. Then they both sank into the waters of the swiftly flowing river. Can they get it right eventually? Perhaps. However, if the frog grows the turtle's shell and the scorpion cuts off his stinger.